Now then, she uh, hosts some of the biggest British shows during the noughties before making it big across the pond. But uh, back in the UK now, Kat Dealey has found herself a new career. And that is as a children's author. And Kat joins us now to tell us more. Good morning. It's so lovely Hiya. to see you. Good morning. Lovely to see you guys as well. I wish you could be there yeah, instead of this. Could... But Absolutely. It, it's lovely anyway, just having a chat. But do you know what? what's lovely? We do have your book, which is so lovely. I was just having a little flick through and it's called The Joy of You. And it's really, really sweet. It's a beautiful children's book, beautifully illustrated as well. So where did the idea for this come from? Well, you know what? It was just one of those things like any other mum. By the end of the day, after you fed them and they've been in the bath and they smell delicious and all of those things, you are completely exhausted. Well, I am anyway, if I'm being very honest. And it was kind of an idea of what would I like to say to them when I can't find the words and I'm completely inarticulate and, and I can't string a sentence together, what do I want to say to my boys? And so that was really the idea behind the book. It's a series of um, feelings and moments and thoughts and emotions and it's kind of top and tailed with love so that listen my boys are only four and two and and the, they have to learn about the real world quick enough so I actually love the idea that when they go to bed they've kind of got that warm and fuzzy moment and are just you know feel really confident and comfortable but what's lovely, because um, I was having a flick through this morning, is it's really it's something that we all really need now, though, but it's really positive. Mm. You can do anything. Yeah, I mean, it, it is. And, and I think it and I think we all need to remember that a little bit. You know, I think it's good to feel about seven and three quarters sometimes and to try new things. My thing is always like, what if Stevie Wonder had never played the piano or Tiger Woods had never picked up a golf club or Picasso had never picked up a paintbrush? And I, I think we're never too old to try new things. And, and sometimes the, the things that scare us a little bit are quite good to try to. Uh, but Milo, Milo, had, Milo had some words to say about it. He, was a, he said, Mom, you know your book? He said, uh, you know, it says I can do anything. And I said, yeah. He said, um, well, that's not true, is it? I mean, he's four, so he's a little bit, everything is why, how, when, if, can I, all that kind of stuff. He said, well, it's not true. I mean, I want to take a koala home from the zoo and have it here as a pet. <laughs> and I went, no, Busted. Milo, no, then you what can't do, you say? do that. You actually can't do that. I said, but my brain started going and going, and I was like, you know what, though? If you go to school and you work really hard at school and you study science, you can maybe study biology, then you could go on and become a zoologist and you could look after every koala in the zoo. Or you could even travel all the way to the other side of the world to Australia and you could work in a sanctuary. You could look after koalas that were poorly or they didn't have a mom and dad. And I just carried on talking and he kind of looked at me and went, well, All right, I, mean, it's a I, think I think it's a reasonable digging yourself out of a hole. <laughs> I, I think, think that's quite well. good. <laughs> 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 what they uh, what they probably won't have much of a, a handle on. I mean, they know that mum mum's on the telly, uh, but mm. uh, but just how massive i mean for, for all of us Saturday mornings yeah. were. Yeah. How much fun Saturday mornings were. I know, I know, and I saw actually the lads were on the other week with you, and they used to always quote you Schofield they used to always say Philip once told us that you don't realize how much fun you're having when you're doing it and you'll never has, have as much fun again on the telly and they used to quote you all those years ago and they the used funny to thing is I, I actually take that back I take that back because um this morning is exactly the same. It's the closest you get to Saturday mornings. It is the, it is the closest you get to Saturday mornings and you can be a bit naughtier even. Yeah you never well, know what's coming also, up you two always misbehave together. But like the pair of you, about. it's infectious. It's so nice. <laughs> so are you, you've, done, you've had a reunion. You have had a, quite an emotional reunion. Yeah, we did. We did. We, 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 we shot a documentary. We talked about all different things, how we first got together, how we first met each other, all things that went wrong in the show, all things that went right in the show. It actually got a little bit emotional because I think that it was at a time in our lives where we didn't have any responsibilities really we were doing really badly to begin with and then it kind of turned around we found our feet we found the chemistry between us and um we, we were just really enjoying it 
Well, that um, first moment, I think they did something called a chemistry test back then, where they got the three of you together. Uh, we played a little clip earlier of the first time. <laughs> and the studio wasn't available. They hadn't put the set in first. So right. where did you have to go? You came to the This Morning studio and borrowed our set for a bit. You guys. So this must be, well, what did we say, 22 years ago? 22 years ago. 1998? 1998. So this is the three of you and your original screen test. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> oh, no. That's lovely. A fresh and funky show. A fresh and funky. But you know what the weirdest thing is? They were talking about showing, showing it. And I said to Deck, I was like, I don't remember anything about it at all. Like, I, and, which is really, I just remembered that we were on your set and that was it. Mm. And so then when they showed it, I was like, I'm actually okay, because you always check out the barnet and what you're wearing. And I'm like, I'm okay. I'm having an All Saints moment. I'm okay. And then Ant had got his fringe, and then Declan had got that big collar. And... <laughs> yeah, you were doing all right, actually. <laughs> so, oh, how... yeah, but I'm very brummy. I'm very brummy at the time. <laughs> how, come, uh, how come you're back here? Because um, we all saw you live the dream. You went with Paddy and the kids, yeah. and you're off yeah. in America. Hit it big time in the States. How come you came back? It was really what we were going to do, was we were going to flip everything around. This is, of course pre the situation that we currently have in the world, the craziness. So we were just going to flip it around and we were going to be based here. The kids could uh, see all their grandparents all the time that, you know, they want to know them and the grandparents are great with them too. So we wanted to do that and we wanted Milo to go to school here. So what I was going to do was then go back and do bits of filming if I needed to. And then during the summer holiday, the dance show was on and so they could come back and we could go and have an adventure and do Disneyland and all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, you think everything's just going to plan and it slots in and Milo started his new school that's beautiful and he loves it. And then a global pandemic hits. And like, well, I don't know when I'm not... Uh, nobody knows when they're next yeah. going anywhere or doing anything. But all I do know is we're all together yeah. and the family's all together. And that's, that's what's most important. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, so lovely to see It you. really is. It really is lovely. <laughs> Let's show this again. This is the book, <laughs> The Joy in You. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thanks, Kat. Lovely Bye, Kat. to see Take you, care. guys. And you Bye. too. Bye, Bye now. Later.